Welcome to a brand new episode of Cinema My Child and Me. We are excited to be back because today we are going to talk about one of our favorite films of all time, the Iranian classic by Jafar Panahi called The White Balloon. It is a story that takes you places. 7-year-old Razia is excited because it is Navroz. She has worn new clothes, will meet family, friends and cousins. and celebrate the coming of the new year with them however her heart is set on one of the gold fishes she saw at the fish sellers in the market no matter how much her mother and brother try to tell her they are the same as the ones in the pond in their housing compound she just doesn't see the similarity her snappy but loving brother convinces their mother because of which she grudgingly gives razia money to buy a gold fish of her choice It is a big currency note because that's all the mother had in her purse. Cautious but thrilled, Razia sets out on an amazing adventure meeting strangers, negotiating with them and standing her ground with admirable conviction. The winner of prestigious awards around the world, this 1995 movie was director Jafar Panahi's debut feature film. It is so easy to fall in love with Razia. as you discover layers in this young girl's personality the film begins with a countdown to navroz which is also exactly how long the film is yes it runs in real time the film is available on disney plus hotstar premium it has repeatedly been quoted as one of the best family films of all time so don't wait any more get watching <laughs> Abhinav, tell me what were your first impressions about this film? I'm enamored by the ability of children to manipulate, for lack of better word, everyone around them to get their way. How they learn to do it is a mystery to me, and a mystery this film does not lift the veil of. But it does walk closely with the perpetrator to help us understand what happens. Now that I have dispensed with the cute factor, which owes greatly to the performance by Aida Mohammad Khani, I can talk about the broader strokes. Children are like sponges at one end and wallflowers at the other. They absorb everything even if fleetingly and absorb many things. And the broader strokes in this movie are worth ruminating over for the adults. If ever a film that comments on present day Tehran through a child's eye was made, this has to be it. What genius like strokes are these? And working in the restrictive environment with limited resources, the film blossoms in the dexterity of performances. and the touches of the script and cinematic language that it employs simple as ample says this film fondly to everyone i was left wondering if it is just a story or if it is just a day in the life of a precocious child on the eve of navroz in iran the nature of razia's adventure may not seem exciting or worthy of a movie at first but once you go back into your childhood memories abhinav the time you had to get your parents to buy you something you really desperately wanted or you lost your money or even shared secrets with your siblings made secret pacts with them deals with them negotiated with them or banished a problem on your own i think it all feels like adventures in our heads even now combine that with dangers like strangers and snake charmers i think it all makes for a horrifying situation for a child and i love the medley of characters who are there it's very interesting that the entire story has characters who are viewed from a child's perspective but there is no shared judgment between the child protagonist and the audience the child watches them she may have her own reactions as an adult you can understand why the child is feeling that way because you have gone through those same experiences yourself whereas now as an adult you can see the behavior of those adults differently and you can understand why the adults are behaving the way they are and it is very interesting to look at how these two points of view differ so greatly and it might just help you feel a little bit closer to your ward your student or your child once you begin to look at things the way they do i think many of the things that razia reacts to responds to behaves in a particular way are borrowed from what the adults have taught her 